Hey beauties, how y'all doing? Uh, back with the car convos again. Um, so this is gonna be a little story time. I just wanted to tell y'all about an experience I had not too long ago, actually. Um, so basically, I was moving from my workspace. So I got recommended, I got recommended a place. Um, the place that I got recommended to go to was a barbershop. I never worked in a barbershop before. So, you know, I took a chance. I went to go see the place. It was a new barbershop. It was empty. Uh, the decor wasn't, you know, like all that. It was really old and manly, but I went with it anyway because at the time I was desperate. I had to find a place to work at really, really quickly. I had like sh very short notice to find a place. So I went to go see the barbershop and when I was talking to the owner, we agreed on some things, you know. Um, <clears throat> very first thing I always do when I go see, uh, when I go looking for a place to rent to work, I always one, I always ask um, about their hours and I always um, tell them um, basically when I work, the hours I work um, and the days I work. So this particular um, barbershop owner, the first day I went, we talked. I told him, you know, oh, I'm, I work, I work these days of the week. I'm gonna need these hours open. Um, I don't stay late on week on weekdays because I gotta leave and go get my daughter from daycare and stuff like that. And um, I was also working on Sundays those days, but I was off Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. So I worked thursday friday saturday and sundays and they were long hours but i told him and i was like is that gonna be okay he said yeah no problem and then i saw on the door that he opened at 10 a.m and i was like well i'm there way earlier than that sometimes 7 sometimes 7 30 sometimes 8 o'clock in the morning is it gonna be okay for me to be working at 7 between 7 a.m and 8 30 in the morning when you actually open at 10 a.m he said no problem you're gonna have a key um, so everything should be fine, which makes sense because when you rent a, a even a chair or a salon suite or a room or wherever in a salon, they're required to give you a key anyway because you're paying rent. Whereas if I was working for him, um, I would be his employee. He would pay me whatever rate. I would have to go according to whatever hours he's open or closed. But it's different. It, I'm I'm renting. I'm an independent contractor, you give me a key, and I come whenever, you know, my hours are. So everything is fine. Uh, fast forward to the week that I'm moving. When I come, start to move my stuff in, I should have known right then and there because everything he said he would have done wasn't done, but I was desperate, and honestly, I like the location a lot and the price he was charging. It would work for me, so I was okay, you know, I work with him, I don't have clients yet anyway. Um, so I said, oh, you know, you said you're going to fix some stuff, you know, when are you going to have them fixed? And then he said, oh, don't worry about it. Everything will be good by the time you start. I said, okay, no problem. I'm going to start. I'm going to have my first client Thursday that week. It's going to be my first day. It's going to be a full day. So I need everything ready. Cool. So I leave. I come back Wednesday. Wednesday, I come back to fix some stuff and i was also gonna see a client that afternoon that evening it was like late it was like 5 6 p.m i was gonna see a client because she had an emergency she has to fly out so she was like hey can you take me i'm like oh you know what i don't work those days and i'm like in the middle of moving but if you still want to come that's fine just know that you know it's a new location i don't have everything set up in my little area yet but you can come she came um but the first issue that day was um he was renting me a little room in the back and the room was not set up. There were things everywhere. There was no mirror put up at my station. And I told him, I was like, hey, you know, my client is coming at six. Like I spoke to you about this before and I told you they were coming. You said everything would be fine. Nothing's ready. Like, well, it'll be ready by the time they come. He said, yes, the client comes. And when the client comes, that's when the person he has working for him is there putting up the mirrors. So. That's already like strike two. So I talked to him about that. And by then I was done with her and I finished setting up. I'm like, okay, well, tomorrow is a big, you know, full first day for me. I'm a little nervous telling everybody to move. We just have a normal conversation. And I was like, oh, wait, you never gave me a key. 
he's like oh i have to go but we'll talk about that but we'll we'll talk about that tomorrow i said okay well will you be here at this time because my client my first appointment is um i forgot i think it was like 10 a.m that day was a later start he said yeah no problem i open at 10 anyway okay so I go home, come the next day. I get there a little earlier because, you know, it's the first day. I like to be there early. That's just my, my preference in case there's like a hiccup or whatever. So I'm ready. So I come. I come. He's not there. Um, 30 minutes later, I text him. Hey, I've been here. I don't see you. I don't have a key to get in. My client's coming in 30 minutes. Nothing. Then he calls me uh, like around, I would say, 15 no i was already waiting for i was already waiting for an hour then he finally calls he's like hey i'm sorry i'm not gonna be able to come i have a family emergency now by then the client is approaching and i'm already outside waiting with my client so we're waiting and i'm like what do you mean like i have a full day of appointments today what do you mean you can't come he's like oh i'm sorry it's an emergency i'm not gonna be able to come in today Okay, so I understand that emergencies happen. Those are inevitable. You can't prevent them. But one, if you hadn't given me a key, we would have never been here. And two, you could have been like, okay, let me, you know, I'm gonna be here. Come get the key so you can work with my client. He, he wasn't willing to work with me at all. That is like strike three and the ultimate strike for me because that day was terrible. I had to call all my clients and cancel and not have a place to tell them to come for a follow-up appointment so i'm losing money i'm losing time people are getting upset at me they're calling and cussing me out because they have emergencies one lady it was her first time coming to me i never met the lady before in my life and this is the experience she has me texting her or calling her the day of her appointment like a couple hours before she's supposed to come telling her i'm sorry i can't see you today because the place i'm supposed to be working at is not open and there's nobody to come open it for me because the owner has an emergency. Can you imagine the stress, the embarrassment, the the shock? So I done went through that and then I spent the rest of the day looking for another, another place because at this point I'm like, he's not gonna give me a key. Emergencies happen all the time. That's why they're called emergencies. So when another emergency happens, I'm gonna be stuck outside again, embarrassed with my clients with nowhere to do their hair. That's not gonna work. Either you give me a key or we it's getting dark so I need to hurry up and finish the story but yeah so he didn't want to give me a key so I'm stressed out I got cussed out I lost customers and I'm searching all over the place trying to find a place to work so that I could take my customers the next day in the weekend that's coming so a few hours later probably like five four hours later he calls me he's like hey I'm at the salon now, so you can come by if you want to do some clients. I'm like, how? I already canceled on everybody. How am I going to come and work with no clients? I said, okay, you know what? Are you going to give me a key or not? And instead of him saying, yes, I'll give you a key, or no, I don't want to give you a key, he's like, you know, come to the shop. We'll talk about it. I'm like, talk about what? So you know what I did? I called up my cousin. I was like, hey. Um, I'm gonna need to move my stuff again. Can you come help me? So I drove over there with my cousin and I went inside and I talked to him and I asked him one more time I was like, are you going to give me a key? And he's like, you know Um, how about if you come work on Sundays from 2 to 5? I'm like Sundays from 2 to 5. That's three hours. and You can't make my hours for me. I'm paying you rent He said Sunday from 2 to 5 I'm like, and what how many clients can I do from 2 to 5? I'm like okay so you're not gonna give me a key this is not gonna work i'm just gonna take my stuff so then i went outside i called my cousin he came we went to the back i took all my stuff and i moved and it was just like the weirdest most crazy experience i ever had in my life i can't explain it doesn't make sense to me i don't understand why he changed his mind from the first few times we talked to the day i actually need to see clients all of a sudden he can't give me a key he's not showing up it was just that was a very stressful two weeks not two weeks that was that was a very stressful week for me because i lost clients i lost money it was time my cousin's time because he helped me move that week and he had to help me move out and i had to find another place again to start seeing seeing clients it was just a disaster y'all i'm so glad that ordeal went and it was over and even though i only knew about him because um somebody recommended him to me 
Um, it's just, I still don't understand what happened. Doesn't make sense. How you just switch it up all of a sudden and just leave me out to dry like that. <sighs> but yeah, that was my very interesting story of where I worked at a salon. Not even for a day. And I had to leave. <laughs> Anyway, it's getting dark and I gotta go. So I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. You know what I mean? Thumbs up this video for more story times. Talk to you guys later. Bye.